results he was looking for at the Olympics, but despite falling a one spot short in the quarterfinals, he still had a massive crowd of supporters cheering him on at Wings Restaurant in Vernon Wednesday night. It's great up until the day that he races. The, the day that he races is horrible because I just don't like it. It's, it's too, it's too, uh, it's too nerve-wracking. I'd rather wake up when it's all over and find out that he, whatever. I'm nervous, but I'm so excited that he's competing at the level that he is with the best in the world. Say something for Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I hope you win. What's it like having a brother compete at the Olympics? It's awesome. I'm super proud. How do you feel right now? Tell me. Is he going to win? A little apprehensive. He's going to win. He's going to win? He's a winner. Well, to say the least, I'm a little bit disappointed with my results today at the Olympics. I knew coming in that I had what it takes to make the final, and if I rode my race and had my day, I could get on the podium. I'm excited to have competed in my second Olympics, and I hope that this will inspire more kids and more people to chase their dreams. And no matter what age you are, you can still make it to the highest level in the world. Kevin still has a few races to finish off his season, and he's hoping to bring home some hardware. For Castanet News, I'm Chantel Deacon in Vernon. Find your next boat, bike, RV, or snowmobile in our Power Sports section. You can find it in the classifieds button on the yellow masthead.